Hello, 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 hello. This is a vlog number nine, and today I've got a beastie gameplay for you, which I picked out my hard drive from about five months ago. It's S2K versus Imperial, and if you don't know, Imperial is probably one of the top three uh, British UK pro gaming teams, along with Fnatic and Farico. And recently, they were on YouTube on a load of vids playing Mythics in the Reflex GT cash tournament in the Netherlands I do believe or America somewhere anyway so this gameplay is absolutely beastie I don't get many kills in this but we end up winning 6-0 it's CTF array and although I don't get many kills it's just it's such a beastie game to watch because it's just so tactical and we just grab those flags and it's just absolutely beastie and against a team like Imperial to win 6-0 man I mean that is as beastie as it gets they've got Imperial Pacino which is Imperial supposedly Imperial's best player playing for them on this game so it's gonna be fucking good so uh watch this vid it's beastie now what I want to get to is tomorrow the Modern Warfare 2 top players list is coming out and I really need some more comments just to kind of like verify who the best players are. I mean, I've got an idea. I've made the list already, but I uh, may need to make some alterations on that list because uh, there's a lot of people leaving comments with um, players that perhaps I wouldn't put on the first page or I put on the second page or the third page, and I'm going to see who I can uh, bump up to first page, basically. So that is what's going on. Also, um, I watched. BWZ Andy's the NSI scrim last night. That was beastie. It was NSI versus Gets World at War. And oh my god, just looking at those World at War vids, it's just beastie. Do you remember the World at War days? They were so much more fun than Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops and probably Modern Warfare 3. I mean, you just can't beat those days. Literally, every time you went into a pub lobby, it was a clan match. You just come up against a clan, and it was so fun. I don't know whether it's the World War 2 aspect of the game that makes it more fun because. Um, all the Mon Mon Warfare games seem to be really, you just get stressed and you die easier and there's just less skill. I think there's two reasons. I do believe that World War 2 games are more fun. And secondly, I think that as obviously COD's progressed and the company's made more money, they've focused more on making money rather than making a really, really good game. Now, I'm not going to blame them for that because, you know, if, if we were COD... Makers, the makers of COD would be after as many millions as we could get. So, I mean, that's like Mon Warfare 2 putting all the noob tubes and one man army shit in the game. I know I fucking use noob tubes a lot, like a biatch up on that invasion roof, fucking tubing the domo flags. Oh, that's so beastie, but still shit in the sense that if you know if it's happening to you, it's just shit. So. They basically, they're basically sellouts. That's what it comes down to, making shit game for um, just to increase the sales, basically. So that's what I think. World at War. If you should check it out if you're into World at War. It's on PWZ at X Andy HQ's uh, YouTube channel. It's just beastie to watch, and he's going to be uploading all the um, all the vids, part one and two for every game, every match, one by one. It's just going to be awesome. So if you're into COD World at War, you better check it out. Uh, I'm going to be making loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of vlogs. There's going to be one every day guaranteed until I kill myself. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to literally be making vids on, you know, best Black Ops players, like I said, best MWT players, best Modern Warfare 3 players, who I think is going to be the best, uh, best at Modern Warfare 3. And then I've had a request from um, Geordie to make a vid on the best players as a whole. So all the games put together, who's the best players? out of all the games basically. Um, also, I've got to shout out a couple of names. I said I'd you know give these people a shout out a couple of episodes ago and I haven't. So URX Victimize, there's your shout out. Um, if you want to check out his channel it's on my page, you can access it through the bottom subscriptions, URX Victimize and also uh, I'll give a shout out to XI Too Much, which is XI Know Me I think at the moment. Um, and also, I didn't realise this, and I don't think Andy realised this either, but um, XI Too Much messaged me after the last vlog and said that he was actually in BWZ. He was called BWZ X Too Much, and then he was BWZ X Harry, and uh, he was only in BWZ for two weeks, so that's probably why we didn't remember him. And I'm sure there's loads of other players that we haven't remembered. There's probably, I reckon, maybe 30% we haven't remembered, but you know... That's just life. Deal with it. If you've got any um, BWZ players that you didn't see on the list, just leave a comment because I'd quite like to know who they are. Uh, so yeah, that is it. As you can see on this vid, 
I think uh, what are we winning now? Four 0 beasting up. That's round one down. Eight for five. Not particularly good amount of kills, but I don't know. Kyle was carrying there on the kill front. Fourteen for five. That's pretty damn beasty. Uh, so yeah, we are fucking s raping these. I mean, honestly, S2K. I reckon if they'd stay together, if we would stay together as a team, we would easily be the best team. And I'm not just saying that, you know, because I was in S2K. But I mean, we've beaten everyone from Valor to Downey's team to Farico, we've beaten everybody imaginable to man. Um, so I think if we had actually bothered to, you know, sort ourselves out and maybe uh, go to an actual tournament, maybe the ECL or whatever, we would, you know, stand a great chance back then of uh, winning it. We beat fucking CYW, pretty much everybody. We even beat the winners of ECL, so I was just beastly. I've got loads more games to upload, lads. I mean, every competitive team, I've got Farico games, I've got everything, so it's going to be beastie, beastie, and every week I'm just like, literally, I'm on my Pinnacle Studios now, just messing around with all the effects, and I found out how to do so many different things, so I'm just going to be doing new designs on every vid, and so on and so forth, basically, uh, it's going to be fucking 1-0 second round now, in a minute we get spawn trapped like an absolute bunch of biatches, I mean, they're on the hilltop with G11s and M16s, just fucking raping us. I mean, I think Pacino goes on a 10 kill streak against us. They still don't manage to cap a flag because they're just too goddamn beastie. That's what it is. Uh, so, woo! Fuck. Uh, yeah, so ECL 3, I think, has just happened. I don't know who won that. I'm going to look it up in a minute. And if you want to see, um, remember what's his name? Pacino from this game, Piro Pacino, and his team play Mythics on Domina uh, Demolition Summit and Havana CTF, I think it is. You should seriously watch that because that is the beastiest, sickest game. I mean, all these players before the tournament just fucking drink Red Bull. Like, cans and cans of it. Their reaction times and their reaction speeds are just fucking insane. Like, insane in the membrane. Like, you wouldn't even fucking believe the turn ons on that. So, yes, check that out. Uh, on this vid, I'm using a lightweight marathon fucking sleight of hand. I always, that's my favourite class on this game. I'm using the old rapid fire, which is the sweatiest weapon to use. I mean, everyone at the beginning of Black Ops used to use the AK-74U grip because uh, at the time that was probably the best all-round weapon, but then people started discovering that rapid fire rapes on the AK-74U at short range. And I remember being in clan matches and like firing range and stuff and you'd get everybody. It was like five-man rapid fire AK-74U and it just slaps about. I mean, it's even got decent range on it if you're good, if you're accurate. Like, I then fucking get my words jumbled up jumbled up jumbled up fuck sake <laughs> get my words jumbled up then i almost had that guy that was trying to fucking kill me almost had him run out of fucking ammo that's the problem with the ak-74u rapid fire but i know a lot of people say it's a sweaty noob weapon it's for shitters that can't aim and spray but Believe me, if you play GB games a lot and DeSoto, well not DeSoto, GB games and clan matches and you get people using this shit against you, you're going to fucking use it, believe me. It's fucking beastie. So, yes, I mean, I think a couple of weeks later after this I switched to the MP5 when we got into the, like DeSoto and that. Because the MP5 Extended Mags is actually a beast weapon, especially if you're host. And also, if you're host, if you're host you really should not be using rapid fire because one, the recoil is just like trebles when you're host because obviously you've got speedier connection so your gun's more powerful So and also you should probably be using grip because if you use grip it almost makes your gun as powerful as rapid fire and you've got the accuracy bonus as well so beastie beastie it's gonna be two fucking nil so yeah uh, on this Modern Warfare 2 vid that I'm bringing out um, I was thinking of also making a list of every clan and I struggled a little bit, well I didn't struggle a little bit actually to be fair, I did come up with a lot of the uh, clans, I remember quite a lot of them from COD 5 but I missed about 5 I think it was, uh, DV, Icom, Mobster, oh that's another one, um, on vlog 6 I think it was, I couldn't remember the name of this really shitty Dutch clan that was massive at the time and everyone used to come up against them in pub games and jump shot kindly remembered the um, the name and posted it on my vlog and it was Venom, if you remember them, Sweaty Venom, I'm leading a mob too as well we came up against them. So um, there was about five or six clans that I forgot, 
But for Mod 2, I mean, can you remember how many clans there were then? Like, seriously, I, could, I can fucking name about 70 off the top of my head, which I'm not going to do, like, right now, but I could. So, and um, there's got to be at least 140, 150 major clans. I mean, almost as much as the members of BWZ. There's so many clans, so that's what I'm going to do. Like, um, like on my COD 5 World at War vlog, I'm going to bring out a clan list at the end with all the clans that I can remember. So, I probably need quite a lot of help with that. So, if you can remember any that you think that that yeah, you think will be difficult to remember, just um, just leave a comment now. So, that is the end of this vid. Tomorrow's the uh, MW2 Best Players list. So, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. I don't think you'll be staying tuned all night, but you know what I mean. Come onto my channel, watch the vid, like it, comment, and if you want to, subscribe! See you second.